Hi, I'm Raya. And I'm Louis. And welcome back to our channel. And today, I'm super excited to finally be sitting down and sharing with you the story of how we met. So the story starts in 2014. I was, it's like August, and mm -hmm. I was traveling in Brazil with my dad and my little sister. And then I went down to Rio to spend like a few days on the beach, soaking in the sun, and then I was gonna fly back to, I think the UK via New York, mm -hmm. just like a layover flight for like less than a day. But what happened was like four days before my flight, it was just suddenly just started raining in Rio. The weather forecast was really bad. And I decided I didn't really wanna sit around in the rain. So I was thinking, oh, I know a few friends in New York. Maybe I should just um, fly to New York early, spend some time there and then fly to the UK. One of the exciting things I've just done is I've changed my flights home and I'm leaving tonight and I'm gonna go and spend four days in New York before going back to London. Uh, I was gonna be flying on the weekend um, but the weather in Rio is looking really, really bad. I don't want to sit inside whilst it's raining, so I'm heading to New York City. Before you came to New York, oh, yeah. I think you messaged... So Louie knew Lily, my roommate, at the time in New York, and I guess you guys had met in LA mm -hmm. at like some mm -hmm. YouTube parties and stuff. And from what I understand, you didn't really know that many people in New York, so you were kind of just like reaching out to like, who do I know in New York that we can just hang out while I'm there? Yeah. And so he just texted her and she ran into my room and she was like, oh my gosh, this guy's coming, my friend, like you guys would be so good for each other. So she called it like at the beginning. So she kind of planted that seed a little bit as well, which I think kind of helped the situation. But yeah, so on my end, I just knew that some guy was coming that was amazing and that apparently I had a lot in common with. So yeah, then you were staying with your friend in New Jersey, so yeah. like not in Manhattan, not in New York City. Yeah, and then yeah. I think I'd come to hang out and say hi, and then Lily was like, oh, you, you, could, you should stay over or something. Yeah, because it was like a train and a bus ride to get into the city. So he came over for dinner, we like got pizza, and actually the moment, like I remember me and Lily came down to, um, in our apartment building, like down to the entryway, and Louis walked in and he was vlogging. So the moment we met, like in that entryway is on camera, which is so crazy. It's very rare to have oh, yeah. that like captured, like the moment yeah. that you meet your like lifelong partner on camera, which is yeah. like, super cool. Just arrived at my friend Lily's house. You might remember her from LA. Um, she's around there somewhere. How are you doing? Amazing. Why is it raining in New York? I don't know, has it been raining all day? This is why I came. No, just started. just started. This is why I came from Brazil to New York to get away from the rain. And then he just came upstairs and I think one of our other friends was over and we played a board game. I don't remember what game. It, was it Life? I don't Clue. remember what. Clue. We played Clue. In England we call it Clue Day. Yeah. We played Clue, we got pizza and we just hung out and yeah, I just remember like we had really interesting chats and I think that was maybe on the Friday. So then, and then you were flying on the Monday like back to the UK. So mm -hmm. yeah, Lily was like, why are you like traveling to New Jersey over an hour? You should just come and crash on our couch for the next couple of days and like actually get to explore the city. So yeah, so the next day in the morning he came over with his suitcase and stuff and we kind of just like the three of us hung out the whole weekend. So it wasn't, like a romantic thing. It was just like we were just friends hanging out, but there were so many little things that kept coming up that we had in common that were crazy. Like we both wanted to live in a tree house. Like that was such a unique thing that I was like, oh, I've never met anyone that wants that. And do you know the thing yeah. that I, I sticks out to me? So there was like this funny moment where we'd been cycling, we'd rented bikes, we're cycling in Central Park. Yeah. And then basically it was like the sun was setting and it was me, Lily and Raya. And then Lily mm. was like, oh, I don't like sunsets. And she like ran, like just got so, in an Uber. And I was like, what the heck? Like who doesn't like sunsets? <laughs> and I like literally didn't know until years later, obviously that was yeah. like a setup for us to be alive. Yeah, so we, the three of us went on a cycle <laughs> ride and so and we were like, oh, let's just walk down to the river and watch the sunset. And Lily was like, no, I don't like sunsets. And Lily was like, it was so obvious. I was like, Lily. Not to me. Yeah, it was so funny because I, I remember I was like, Lily, that is too obvious. Like you're making it so awkward, <laughs> but he's so oblivious. But yeah, Honestly. that, so then Lily left very quickly and then Louie and I walked to the river. We are just about to return our bicycles. And we're going to try and make it down to the shore front to see the sunset. I think it's going to be a good one. 
We're just sitting here watching the sunset and I've just looked at the flight details for my dad and sister arriving and I thought they were arriving tomorrow morning, like I was gearing up, taking them out tomorrow. It turns out they're arriving Sunday, so it gives me another full day in New York and I'm so happy. Because Louis was daily vlogging at the time, like it was just kind of so fast paced, we were just doing stuff all day, but he actually set up a time lapse for the sunset and so that was the first time we just sat down and I guess we had like 15 or 20 minutes of the time lapse where we could just talk without mm. filming or worrying about doing anything. One of the things that really stood out to me was like, I've had a lot of high drama relationships before that or people playing games and I remember I was having a conversation and you were like, oh I just hate people that play games and I was like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> that's so good to hear because a lot of girls I'd known up to that point like those kind of games. It was just that age, like yeah. I remember just in general, people were like, oh, you have to wait this many days and like text these things. And I, from the beginning, I was like, I'm just going to text exactly what I want to text and say what I want to say. And mm. if it's like too much or if the person doesn't like it, then we're just not meant to be together. I'm just going to be myself. And if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. But so, that, that conversation yeah. was the first time I was like, oh, th she's cool. Like, mm. I like this. And But I wasn't like really thinking much more than that at the time. Yeah. Well then, after we watched the sunset, we walked back to the apartment and that was like across all of Manhattan. Watching the sunset and having that walk was the first time that we were able to connect. And mm -hmm. if we hadn't had that walk, we probably wouldn't really be together because we would have just like all hung out as friends the whole mm -hmm. time. But that, yeah, that was the first, like we just, we went pretty deep on that talk and like, we were just really able to get to know each other and that was really, really cool. But yeah, from my end, in that year that I lived in New York, I'd gone on a few dates with guys and I remember I was like, okay, I'm just gonna be single for a while. Like a lot of these guys aren't really in like the headspace that I'm looking for. And I mean, I was 22 at the time. So I guess I was going on dates with like guys that were around that age. And I just remember thinking, all right, these guys aren't really for me. And I was thinking, you know, my future boyfriend's probably like in an ashram in India right now, like backpacking around the world or something. And he was in Rio, <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of where I was. So when I met Louis, I was like, whoa, he has all these things that I would want in a partner that all these other guys don't have. So that was what stuck out to me. I think because I'd gone on a few dates and seen what was missing out of them and I saw them in him, that's what made me really like him. But also from my end, he traveled, he was traveling full time and I was living in New York and I didn't really know what was gonna happen. And nothing happened that weekend. We didn't kiss or anything. Like we just hung out most of the time with other people as well. And, um, and I remember leaving thinking like, oh, I really like this girl. Like, see you later, Ryan. Bye. No, I really think you should. I'll see you when I get back. Yeah. And I remember mm. saying to Steve Booker, oh, I really like this girl in New York. And then we were like planning to go down and visit. Mm. But we hadn't so, really stayed in touch, had we? No, so we, yeah, we become friends on Facebook. This was, I remember this. In the like two months that we didn't see each other, I, you followed me on Snapchat. And I remember I kept posting on Snapchat and just checking if he had seen it. I'm sure you guys can relate. If you had a crush on someone and you post stories or something and you're just like checking to see if they've seen it. So I was like doing that, but we weren't really talking. And then you messaged me on my birthday and that was, I guess, a month after we met. So that was a little sign of like, oh wow, okay. So he's still, he hasn't like completely forgotten about me. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. And then basically Lily was really good friends with Will Derbyshire and Obviously, like I had a crush on Louis and the two of them were both going to Buffer Festival in Toronto in October. So she was chatting to Will and she was like, why don't we invite like Will and Louis down after Toronto and then we can all like hang out as friends, but really hopefully Louis and I could get to hang out more. So that was the plan. They both agreed and we were like, oh, like we were both really excited and I was super excited to spend more time with Louis. And like the day before they were supposed to come down, they were supposed to stay for a week. The day before Louis messaged me, hey, a bunch more people from Buffer want to come. So there's like five more people coming now. <laughs> Guys, we've arrived in New York and we are at Lily and Raya's apartment. They're kindly letting us stay. Some of us, most of us maybe for the next couple of days. So at first I was like, oh, I guess this is kind of ruining it. And we probably won't even get to spend any time, the two of us. But it was super fun and obviously it was like Ben and Steve and Matt and Will. It was like a, such a fun group that mm. we all had a great time. And it was hilarious because we had a tiny apartment in New York. So we got like blow up beds and couches. Like we were just trying to fit everyone everywhere. And mm. yeah, it was so funny. And that week, it was really, really cool. I don't know if we really spent much time one on one, but... I spent enough time with you that by the end of the week, I was like what's the next, like, how am I mm. going to see Raya yeah. again? Because 
like my life wasn't, I'd always assumed that I was never gonna get into a relationship until I'd like, was in one location because I was like, how is that gonna work otherwise? Like, I didn't wanna do a long distance relationship. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the week, there was like this opportunity coming up where I was doing a brand deal with like a hotel mm -hmm. chain in Shanghai in China. And the, I always have like a plus one. And I hadn't, yeah, I guess like I hadn't really thought like who I was going to invite or maybe there's a couple of people that I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, so, so Ange and Nick ended up coming to New York as well. Yeah. They didn't stay in our apartment, but Ange was Louis' like assistant kind of like handling his brand deals at the time. So I remember throughout the week, the two of you kept talking about this brand deal and you were, and you were like, we're inviting someone and then they dropped out and someone else. And mm. there was a bit of a stress of like, who are we going to invite to China? So I remember that that was happening. And then I was like, this is super intense because like we've only just met each other. I mean, yeah. and I could feel the vibes that there's like a bit of flirting or we like each other. But I was like, shall I just like invite her to China? Like, is that too much? But I was also <laughs> like, if we, if yeah. I don't, like when else are we gonna mm. hang out? So I was just like, sure, do you wanna come to China? Do you wanna come to Shanghai? Which yeah. was in like two weeks after that yeah. or something, right? And you asked me in front of her, you were like, yeah, <laughs> it was like quite a big thing, but I was like, yeah, I would love to. And it was so great because at the time I was waitressing, but I was like booking my own shift. So mm -hmm. I didn't like have work or anything. So yeah, so I was like, sure, why like, why not? And <laughs> and I remember I think Lily was out when that happened and then she came home and I like pulled her into the bathroom and I told her and she screamed and everyone heard. Like it was so obvious what was happening. I didn't, I'm not, <laughs> I was just so oblivious. That's so funny. Um, but then we had yeah. like this really cool two weeks where we were like... Oh yeah, so basically then Ange, like after I said yes, Ange was like, all right, cool, like manager mode, let's like get out your passport details and stuff. And she was like, all right, so they're only flying you guys from LA. So we're gonna have to like fly you to LA first. And I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, but wait, a few of us are road tripping to LA for the, like over the next two weeks anyway. So why don't you just join? Raya is now joining us on our road trip across America. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm so excited, yeah. We still really don't know the full plan, but we're gonna figure it out today and I was like yeah okay cuz Shanghai was only like a three or four day trip so I feel like if it was just that we probably still wouldn't have really gotten to know each other but so. that was such a fun road trip oh we actually my gosh, yeah. drove for a couple of days and then we were just like let's get a train because yeah. we were in like cramped little cars and yeah um, that was an amazing trip for those of you that have like some of this story is like ringing bells <laughs> yeah. like you're like oh yeah I remember that like it's almost like this is the behind the scenes yeah I wasn't sharing all of these thoughts obviously like i didn't know where this was going to yeah, end yeah. up so that's what's cool if you guys have seen these vlogs and we'll put some mm. of these clips as we're talking now you know that like what was happening behind the scenes we were like flirting getting to know each other and yeah it was super fun so yeah that road trip was amazing like we obviously got to know each other really well and just all hung out as a group it was nick and me louis and will and yeah it was amazing mm. and then we flew to china together and that was like technically our first date yeah <laughs> Which is crazy. And then it was like, I mean, we'll probably make a whole nother vlog on the process to the place we are now, which is oh. like just so <laughs> in love. Like yeah. it's, I know it's like, it's a bit cringy for some people watching, but hopefully if you've chosen to watch yeah, this, this channel. Yeah, this is a couple's channel, so. You get it, but like. We're gonna talk about love. It feels like, yeah, we can go into this in another time, but like it feels like the more and more we're mm. with each other, like the deeper in love we are. And that's like the perfect, thing for a relationship mm. in my opinion. So anyway, but I think yeah. getting to that point was like a bit of a... Well, yeah, from China until we officially started dating was almost a year and that's a whole nother story that yeah. we're gonna save for another video. It was, it was a bit of a bumpy road. It was a coaster. lot of ups and downs, but yeah, that was, I guess, our first day, our first time meeting and and people always ask us, how did you meet? And I, I love telling that story, especially, yeah. I think I just think the craziest thing is that if it hadn't rained in Rio that weekend, then we probably would have never met. It kind of shows me that even things that are disappointing or yeah. that, that you're not, that you'd rather like, oh, it's so annoying that this happened. You never know the doors yeah. that that's gonna open for you, you know, because that door closes, like I can't just lay on the beach for four days, like yeah, something I, else Yeah, I happens. had this big realization recently that like, yeah, in the moment, you're probably in Rio, like, bummed. You probably have to pay extra to change your flight. Yeah. In the moment, it's like, oh, this sucks. Like, my plans are changing, and I guess now I have to go to New York. But, yeah, don't ever, like, let that these little moments get you down because you have no idea. You know, the whole everything happens for a reason thing? You never know what's going to happen. Yeah. So, yeah. 
so that's our story. Okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll definitely do a part two of like what happened after China because that was, that was, there's a lot to tell there. And yeah, yeah, <laughs> we've had quite a journey, but um, yeah, those first couple of weeks were amazing. And it's just so cool that every day was vlogged. So we have so many of those memories and um, now you can go back and rewatch some of those vlogs and maybe see like, yeah. If you see little things of what was oh, there was the one scenes. thing in one oh, of the vlogs yeah. where like I was like I was like trying to connect with Ryan more and I like liked her and then I it was like raining one day in New York and I was like I could see she didn't have an umbrella. Yeah, Louis was vlogging with his umbrella and, then and he, I was like, oh, yeah. Ryan hasn't got an umbrella. Let me go and give her mine. I was like trying to be chivalrous yeah. and like ran over and just as I was about to get to her, like Will like stepped in and like had an umbrella. Yeah. Oh wait, I've left Ryan without an umbrella. Okay, Will's got her. Because Will obviously couldn't see that Louis was running up and he probably was like also like, oh, Ryan needs an umbrella. So he like swooped in. And in the, in that vlog, there were comments of like, ooh, like Will's coming in and like stealing Louis' girl. It was really funny. And, it was honestly really and funny. then we kind of played it up and over the road trip, like we would like, in the, as Louis started vlogging, me and Will would be in the background and like kind of get close just to like <laughs> joke with everyone. I don't know. It was so funny. And there were... I mean, people were in the comments were already like getting it. Like yeah. some people, some of you guys are so on it. And meanwhile, there were other people that when we announced that we were dating, like a year and a half later, people were like, whoa, I had no idea. So let me know, were you guys one of the ones that like had an inkling that we had a thing for each other, even back then? Yeah, like what was, met? what vlog was it that yeah. you were like, oh, I think there's something going on here. Maybe it was like all the way when the China vlogs yeah. when you came, I don't know, but. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. Um, I hope that you liked this video and make sure that you subscribe because we have so many more videos. We actually spent today planning our videos over the next couple of months and there's really good ones coming Also, out. leave in the comments like other ideas, things you yeah. want to know, like relationship advice, stuff you'd love to know about us, stuff you're struggling with. Let us know what kind of videos you want to see on this channel and thank you so much to everyone who's already subscribed and who's supporting this and yeah, we love you guys. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.